guys. And yes, it is evening this time. We're out for an evening and we are going on a really exciting back of bikes food tour. Yeah. Hi guys, so Hi. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the tour tonight? So it's going to be a food tour for you. It's going to be five stops, four for savory and one for dessert. So you've been here for like three weeks so far, right? Yeah, three weeks. So, so uh, can I ask you about your feelings about this Oh, we this love place? Vietnam. This is my third time in Vietnam. Oh, really? Yeah. So yo, you already come in Vietnam two times ago. Yes, already. as a tourist. Yeah, first time 1998. 1998? Yes. Oh. Yeah, like 23 years ago. Yeah, really. So far, so long ago. How about a second trip to Vietnam? Our second time was 2019, 2019. before COVID. Ah. Incredible, getting around the city on the back of a motorbike. How was that? Oh, that was fun. Um, a lot easier to ride through the streets of Ho Chi Minh City than I thought it would be, actually. We were chatting the whole time. I didn't feel like nervous at all. Yeah, excellent, because... excellent rider. Excellent I, I rider. got a big surprise. <laughs> I have a customer with a PhD on the back of the bike. You do? <laughs> yeah, that's wonderful. You do. Ban Mi. At this first stop, we're going to have you Ban Uk. Ban so, Uk. Yeah, a very typical like Vietnamese wet cake. Yeah. Uh, normally, it's, they, they always use it for breakfast, but now we're going to have it for dinner, but in a very different version. Okay, okay. sounds huh? great. Ladies, making like the steamed wet uh, pancake. Oh, so have you pancake? heard about like our Vietnamese pancake? No, no, no not, not this like, one. Not this one, right? No. So, and how about the rice paper? Yes. yes, the rice, rice paper. paper. You heard about it, right? Yes. Yeah. But this one, is see, I will say this is the wet version of the yeah. rice paper. So in front of you, and right now, we have four kinds of sauce to like to combine with the spring roll. So this one is the basic version of thick sauce. So this one is the light thick sauce. Mm -hmm. So we are gonna add some a little bit sugar and like the green onion on the top. And this one is the strong version of thick sauce. Here we combine a little bit of garlic. Chili and sugar, and you can see like the stick, uh, like like the texture of the pig sauce is a little bit sticky compared with the live pig sauce. Mm -hmm. And here we also have the secret sauce. We call it bean sauce. So inside we have some like sticky rice, and we combine with a little bit brown pork. Yeah, oh, interesting. And the last one we have anchovy pig sauce, and we call we also add a little bit of green onion on the top as well. Fantastic! Yeah. You girls are so informative. Yeah. You know everything. <laughs> and how was how was the work during COVID? It stopped. Oh yeah, we stopped. Yeah. Stopped. Yeah. And how how long have you been started again? Uh, about six months, lately. About okay. six yeah. months, but not every night or every night. Uh, not every night. It's okay. gonna depend on like how many customers. Yeah, how many are booking? Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. More with this one first the special sauce yeah, yeah. that's the special sauce of this restaurant okay Yeah, but, but this 
this sauce doesn't have more sugar in it, so it makes like more flavor to the raw. Mm. So if you like something like dense, a little bit dense, oh, flavor, it's gonna be really great. That is good. Yeah, yeah. really good. Really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this one gonna be more challenging for you, the anchovy. Yeah, because it's fish. Yes. Strong yeah. <laughs> fish. And I only got a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> sure. You should try a little bit, just like small bite. It's good. It's not I challenging like it. at all, right? Yeah, it's good. You don't like it. <laughs> I wouldn't choose it. Mm -hmm. But it's good to taste it. Sure, sure. And how about this one? So it's gonna be a little similar to this one, but it's Less. lighter. Lighter, yeah. Mm. I do like this one better though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those two wins. <laughs> yeah. But do you know what it is? Movie in, guys. <laughs> This is the party street of Ho Chi Minh City, yeah. everyone. It's a little bit early yet, but by 10 p.m. every one of these chairs will be full. How are you doing, guys? Great! Nice little great. ride through Booby Inn. Yes. Right? <laughs> you see it, right? Exciting, yeah. yeah. It's going to be like more busy from 9 p.m. to yeah. uh, early in the morning. Yes. So you can do it after the tour. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, maybe not. <laughs> but do you have to go to work tomorrow? No. no. You should go there. Uh, I don't think so. Not too old. <laughs> too old. No, it's the 18 forever. <laughs> 18 forever. <laughs> I wish. I wish. <laughs> flour in Vietnam we all call them bun which is cake it means cake in English and then jang is mean the action of like stretching everything out in a circle and okay. then news mean grill so we're gonna have this rice paper over here oh okay. normally if you use uh, the rice paper for the spring roll it's gonna be thinner smaller and thinner maybe this week thinner but this one is gonna be thicker so they're gonna have some margarine on it with some a lot of different kind of toppings on it especially the foil eggs oh okay. so each yeah. rice paper gonna have like will require like three to four foil eggs on it shred it around with some green onion and other kind of toppings over here so you see like this is the part and the other parts over there okay. and this is the stove for grilling the foil eggs Grilling quail eggs. eggs. Yeah. yeah. So you will to the quail eggs. Oh, so cute. Yeah. 
So they also have like the eggs, like the normal chicken eggs over yep. here. Yeah. But in Vietnam, whenever you go to a street food place, we really re like prefer the quail eggs. You prefer quail eggs? Yeah. Do they have a stronger taste? Oh, actually it's lighter taste. A lighter yeah. taste? So the chicken eggs will be a little bit richer, what, meanwhile the, the quail eggs will be a little bit lighter. Okay. 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 So yeah, and here we have you. the Vietnamese pizza, as they call it. And they cut it with scissors? Yeah. So, so usually this dish, um, usually they're gonna like uh, separate it into the small piece and after that you're gonna use your hand. This is the hand uh, foot. So you're gonna <laughs> use your hand to dip into the sauce here. Mm -hmm. Okay, sounds perfect. Because it's originally a street food here. Okay. Yeah, but this restaurant just uh, like elevated this food into a like, higher level yeah. and make it tasty, more tasty. Uh, this is like a grill. Uh, rice paper. Okay, rice so paper. what do we have on, on it? What what ingredients? Mm -hmm. So for the topping of this rice paper, they're gonna have quail eggs with some like uh, sausage over here. It's not sausage, like, oh sorry, this is a fried shallot. Yeah. And then we have quail eggs combined with some green onion and on the top they have some beef jerky on it. Okay. Okay, awesome. So we have Perfect. shallots and yeah. green onion. And then we also have like beef rice. jerky. Yeah. And quail eggs. I've never quail tried eggs. a quail egg. Oh yeah, they bring up some bowl for us. Oh, they're bringing yeah. a whole bowl. Mm -hmm. yeah. Steph, have you had oh. quail eggs? I have in Korea. I've had quail eggs, um, but it was a long time ago, so uh, it still looks like boiling. Oh, oh, it's yeah. still bubbling. Mm -hmm. Look how Delicious. fresh and hot it is. Okay, try it. Yeah. Wow, that is hot. All right, let's go. <laughs> I'm struggling. <laughs> Very hot. Wow. That's quite delicious. Yeah. You know, we don't have a lot of, we, we don't really use a lot of cheese in our traditional food. Mm -hmm. That's why uh, we use like peanuts for adding some like rich flavor okay. to the food. Yeah. But now at this restaurant, they also like do some cheese, like, like you know, like the laughing cow cheese. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like with the quail eggs as well. But we, like the, the peanuts, the dried peanuts, just like a part of our traditional food. And you told me this is a specialty peach tea peach yeah. at this restaurant? Yeah. Honestly, this restaurant makes every tea nice. Mm. Like, yeah, they like have the lime tea, like lychee tea, strawberry tea, peach tea, but this one is a really refreshing one. Yeah. It's very refreshing and it has peaches on top. Even. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's even got peaches in it. It's really easy for you to find like a tropical tea. Beautiful peaches. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And now we're gonna do we're gonna go with a grilled rice paper, which called Vietnamese pizza. Okay, like, let's okay. dip in and the sauce. This yeah. is the sauce that they mixed up for us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Spicy. Mm -hmm. That's delicious. Mm. Oh yeah. <laughs> a lot of chili. Yeah. Nice and crispy. Maybe this one. Yeah, you can go yeah. to like tamarind fish sauce or just a tamarind sauce. They also have very like great flavor to go with the rice paper. Yeah. Fantastic. Look at that. Yeah. Hey, okay. what a spread. So for this rice paper, they also use the same technique for curling it. But on the top, they're gonna have like topping with the sorry. It's gonna be like uh, purple cabbage, and then we have like some like sauteed shredded pork, <coughs> like shredded you see, pork. yeah, shredded pork, and with some like main like bacon on top. Awesome, looks good. Mm -hmm. Well, we're certainly getting a variety of food, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, and things I would never know to order. So no. that's why it's been great to come and come so early in our time in Vietnam because now I know if I see somebody making this on the street, I know what it is. I know I like it. Yeah. You know, sometimes you're like, what is that? Oh, I'm because not sure. we're never going to remember the name. No, we're but still we'll be remember what it looked like. <laughs> so if we see them cooking it on the side of the street or in a restaurant, then we know that's what we'd that's like what we to like. order. Yeah because we've already tried it. So, so it's, it's a great idea to come try on a food tour early on in your time. Yeah. Okay. All right, Steph, yeah, okay. do you want to go? You try it. My turn? Okay. Yep. Let me grab one. Okay. Just dip it in the sauce. Mm. Mm. That's really good. What's the sauce on this one? Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise? 
it adds a nice a nice um, creaminess. Creamy, creaminess to it, yeah. I can really see. Really good. Mm. <laughs> and yeah, I also like the crispness of the, um, is that cabbage? Yeah. Of the purple cabbage. Yeah, very nice. <laughs> oh, it must be good. Yeah. <laughs> I love this one a bit. <laughs> <laughs> the girls weren't hungry enough to eat at the other place, but here, I think you know, I like this, yeah. this is one. this is your best one. Yeah. <laughs> That's good to hear. It is delicious. Yes. Have another piece of that. here in district 10 it's also street food market we're heading to uh, the street food area but right now the flowers smell beautiful so many beautiful flowers It's really special one. So we have the like the crab soup, the noodle soup. So the texture of the noodle is made from the tapioca flour. Yeah. And you can see the texture you can, when you taste it. It's a little bit like the udon noodle of Japan. In Japan. And you have here the crab here. Yeah. You say the baby crab here. We're gonna like uh, take out the crab first and take the meat for you later. Right. And you know the broth here is really special. You know you can see the like the the milky version, or like the milky uh, color of the the broth here, right? So this is it, this one made from the kale milk and coconut milk. Yeah, we also add some spice also, and you can see the oily texture on the top. Yeah, uh, yeah, and basically it's, it's uh, from the turmeric powder. Yeah, so to make the orange flavor, like color like, like that one. Okay, yeah. you're using turmeric to make the orange color. Yeah. We're enjoying a crab, coconut milk, noodle soup. <laughs> noodle soup. Steph, how's the broth? Mm. The broth is really nice, quite creamy. And yeah, a little bit of chili in it as well. So you can add the lime and the chili there to taste. Very good. Very good, and the girls are... Uh, <laughs> what do we crab call it? Picking, chicken? Our, yeah. picking, picking our crab. crab. Picking our crab. Getting the meat out. Mm. Doing all the hard work for us. Yeah, yeah. doing the hard, messy work <laughs> for us. We're so lucky. Yes. And they also brought us this uh, interesting drink yeah. that's made from hard plums. So, I guess green plums. And it's got a really uh, unripe taste. But that's not a bad taste. It's kind of refreshing. Yeah, it's very and refreshing. Crisp. Yeah, crisp. Almost like a green apple. Yeah. Actually, it's like a green apple. Yeah. Yeah. See, when I first had it, I thought it tasted a bit like pear, but yeah, I guess like green apple or the yeah. crunchy pear yeah. before it's soft. Yeah, yeah, it's like a Granny Smith apple in a way. Yeah. All right, so our lovely ladies here have picked the crab for us, um, which is the hard part, and now we just get to enjoy it. 
How is that? It's really good. I always find crab meat very sweet. And so it's a very sweet meat and it goes really well with this soup that is also a little bit sweet, but also it's got a little bit of spice, a little bit of lemon, a few things that um, kind of balance out the sweetness. The mm -hmm. crab was delicious, wasn't it? Yeah, it is. It's really delicious. tender and juicy. It's a baby crab, so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All baby animals are delicious. <laughs> what could be bad about a baby anything? <laughs> so yeah, this was really good. Um, I'm not a huge seafood fan, but this is delicious. And even the seafood kind of... The broth. Broth was delicious. Yeah, I really the broth think... was really delicious. I ate a lot of the broth. Yeah, well, I ate almost all the broth. So, yes, I've really enjoyed this meal. Yeah, another great meal at um, Ban Tan Gi. And this is in District 5? District 10. 10. Oh, District 10. 10. Okay. Okay, where are we off to now, girls? So we're gonna go to like another place in District 10, but for Vietnamese pancake. It's gonna be like more traditional dish. Yeah. Okay, Great. let's do it. Let's, let's go. do it. Steph helped cook our pancakes here, but sadly, I lost that footage. Okay, so the, wa the water on the lettuce leaf helps yeah. to soften the rice paper. Right, to make it soft enough to roll. Uh, and soft enough that, to roll. Yeah, and after that, you're gonna put the lettuce on the top, like that one. That's one. Looks great. Very fresh once again. Very My fresh. My favorite word with Vietnamese food. It's so it's fresh. Fresh and, and then we're gonna have like lots of herb and greenery. So textured. nice. We have like one pancake on Oh, we put side. a pancake on it. And yeah. you're gonna use Here's your finger. Your thumbs. Yeah. Crack it like this. Crack it a little bit. Okay. Make a roll. Okay. Here you go. Okay, let's dip this and yeah. have a go. Mm. So you're gonna have two dipping sauce. Uh, uh, fish sauce and anchovy fish sauce, but with pineapple and sugar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see the pineapple in there. Mmm. <laughs> this is pineapple. Yeah, pineapple. Okay. Mm. The pancake is really nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is my favorite food because you know I love like fried food. It's kind of junk food, but when you go with herbs, it's more healthy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, and here we have anchovies and what is in there? Pineapple. 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 Wow. Mm. Mm. So how many meals a day do Vietnamese people eat? Do you have breakfast, lunch, dinner or what? Yeah, we do. <laughs> but normally it's got to be the same food. Okay. So if you cook at home, it's got to be like steamed rice with uh, any kind of meat with uh, a vegetable soup like from morning to uh, like dinner. Okay. You're gonna have like the same food for breakfast, There's lunch, the dinner. The same food, but maybe the flavors will change. Or just the, the same, same food. The just same. the same. Yeah. yeah. A bit like so, Korea. Yeah, yeah. They cook uh, one time in the morning, mm -hmm. and after that you're gonna like, like steam it like in the for the lunch and for the dinner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. But if you like, uh, you only have lunch and dinner because you prepare it in the morning, so you don't have time to prepare your breakfast. You can have like breakfast out like pho, mm -hmm. yeah. noodle soup, like uh, uh, any kind of rice, spaghetti, or mm -hmm. you remember the bánh ướt, the wet yeah. cake yeah. at the first stop? Yeah, you can wrap it anytime. Yeah. Or some kind of dumplings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it can be like fast breakfast, but the dinner always like big dinner, mm -hmm. lunch also big as well. Okay, so food. both of those meals are big. Yeah, like, you know when we work and I, I see kind of like foreign friends they only have like a hamburger for lunch yeah. and I was like I, I was confused like how how you get full after that hamburger within only hamburger like how can you get full meanwhile Vietnamese you get like steamed rice big bowl steamed rice with meat and vegetables we have a lot of food for lunch mm -hmm. and we even have like fruit like uh, banana apples yeah. afterwards yeah after that mm -hmm. uh -huh. so it's it's so weird for me to see like some yeah. foreign friends only have like kind of fruit, yogurt, or hamburger for lunch. I think it's for convenience that uh, you know we just have something you could take to work and just grab and eat it at your desk. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> we have a lunch box. Yeah, we always have lunch box, mm -hmm. and we have it at our desk as well. It's always like three kind of things together. <laughs> mm. 
different. And yeah, and, and but that's think, the thing with. But I think rice and soup and a and you, you know you don't have too much meat. It's quite a bit lighter mm -hmm. yeah. than a hamburger. Hamburger is bread and a big meat uh -huh. patty, and then sometimes French fries. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of heavy food. Oh yeah. Whereas if you eat it like this, mm -hmm. after one hour you're hungry again. Oh yeah. So you need to eat a big dinner also. But I don't know how about other friends, but to me it's like I I cannot feel that I fall without rice. Oh, uh, without yeah. rice. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I feel with rice I'm not full. Oh. <laughs> yeah. We so I feel full at first, okay. and then one hour later, like I didn't eat. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we built different, right? Yeah, yeah. So, maybe. So, yeah, very. <laughs> so I need to have uh, bread and potatoes mm. to feel yeah. full. Yeah. But you know, like when I go to like KFC, I do a lot of, like um, smashed potatoes. Yeah. yeah. And then fry French fries as well. But yeah. I feel like I'm full. Really? Yeah, I oh, can have like another like noodle soup uh, right after that. <laughs> wow. So yeah, yeah. it's all, yeah. It's it's what we're so used to, different. I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's what you're used to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you girls are so slim. <laughs> most most young European people are sorry. Most young Vietnamese people are quite slim. Oh. Yeah. In our countries, no. <laughs> is, is it because we're really aware of our uh, body? Yeah. Like more and more, like. Women, they, they wear their body. They want to be like skinny. Yeah, it's like our but, Asian beauty. Uh, right. Because we have the different beauty standard in mm -hmm. Asia. So Vietnamese people, uh, girl, usually they think that if you are skinny, you have the widened skin. Yeah. This is beauty. Yeah. But in the another country, like Western country, they prefer the tan skin. Yeah. 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 And the like the healthy body instead of thick skinny. Yeah. So yeah. it's like Korean girls. Yeah. Skinny body with like white, very white skin. Yeah. Mm. Interesting. Yeah, we like skinny body too, but uh, we it's do like, like brown fit, skin. Right? You like fit body. Yeah, I yeah. guess the men yeah. like yeah. men like uh, yeah. more curves. Hourglass, yeah. Hourglass like curves yeah. and. Yeah. Nung. Nung. Yeah. Nung mm. is going to show us mm. um, what it's like to eat a duck egg with a fetus inside. Now, of course, we're not brave enough to do that, are no, we? No, I'm, I'm past that. But, but <laughs> Nung has done it several times mm. in her life and she doesn't find it unusual. She was telling us that uh, during or after the Second World War, when there was famine and hardship here in Vietnam, that local people had no choice. They had to wait. They couldn't wait for the uh, duck to be born. Mm -hmm. So they ate what they could. And, you know, that's truly understandable. And yeah. then they realized that it tasted pretty darn good mm -hmm. and so why not make it a delicacy? True. So here she is today to show us what it's like. So so we have like the duck egg like this, but normally like when you boil it, it's gonna be like this, right? Yeah. But when we eat it, we're gonna like turn it upside down. Oh. And it also the call like the name of the of the egg in Vietnam, Hobbit Lom. Hobbit is mean duck egg and oh. lom is mean upside down. So okay. upside down duck egg. Yeah, so we're gonna like tap on the top of it and we just like crack and create a, a small hole, not too big. And you will see the soup inside. Oh wow. Alright, yeah. so for this egg, we're gonna go with like the chili sauce with some like um, kumquat juice. Kumquat, kumquat juice. juice, wow. Yeah. And really, we have Vietnamese hot mint. Like, I really want you to try this mint. It's a really different. Mint. Mm. I see why it's called hot mint. Mm. Mm. Yeah, wow. Well, spicy. Yeah. yeah. So I told you oh, about yeah. the balance between like yin and yang, and <coughs> we consider this is like kind of cold food, and this is like the hot food. Ah. So in combination, it's gonna really balance your stomach, right? And then we're gonna drink the juice up from here. So. For the juice, sorry, for the soup, it's like um, chicken soup. Oh, and you, so I gotta let you see this. Oh, wow. So they're gonna have like two parts the yolk over here and the baby duck over here. Oh, wow. Wow, okay. Incredible. Would you like to try to, to taste the, the yolk? It's gonna be like Come normal on, egg yolk. I just said that I was too old for this, yet I am going to try. <laughs> you don't need to try? I will. Okay. 
So we got a tip in here a bit, but like a small mint. To okay, you. show me. All right, so I'm gonna give this a try. So this is the yolk yeah. mm -hmm. of the undeveloped uh, duckling. Yeah, it tastes normal. Mm -hmm. Tastes like a normal mm -hmm. yolk. Yes. So you but it didn't look like a normal yolk, it did it? Uh, no, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> Sorry. So now I'm gonna do the yolk. I'll do like all the Vietnamese yolk. And just scoop it. Oh, with wow. a, with a really want to see what inside. And get it. A lot of salt. No. It's good. It's good? You should try it though, it's really good. It's like a very tender chicken with like a little bit like a chewy egg yolk. And you cannot tell like which part of the duck you're doing because everything mixed together. And it's super tender. <laughs> <laughs> don't look at me, Susan. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I don't know if I can. I'm a little bit scared. Come on, you can. Okay. You want to try it? Just, just a bit. tiny bit, okay. Oh. This is not going to be a big bite because I don't trust myself, to be honest. And I'm not going to look at it either. So okay. I'm just going to look at the camera. Make sure you get For some sure. duck on that. Sure, sure. Not too much duck. Not too much. Okay. Oh, that's just a little bit. Yeah. It's tiny. I have to admit, like, I'm intrigued whenever I, I hear these things. And I think that I should leave my mind open because I think sometimes we get too close-minded, especially as we get older. Yeah. <laughs> it's delicious. Mm -hmm. I mean, I probably wouldn't buy it again, but there's absolutely nothing shocking about the taste Did of it. Did you swallow it? Um, I swallowed the duck already. <laughs> it went down very quickly. <laughs> so now I just have egg. <laughs> nice. Okay, now I'm gonna finish this and, and, sh and show you what we do with shells. Okay. Fantastic, Stephanie. Well done. <laughs> you want some? No. You want some? Yeah, in charge. Uh -huh. <laughs> you want some too? No, 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 no. No? You know, honestly, I'm not doing this for quite a long time because most of my customers, instead of eating it, they want to see it. Mm -hmm. And the way they see it makes me don't want to do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't want to see like the whole thing in, in yeah, the Yeah, so you don't deserve to see it if you don't eat it, right? <laughs> True, yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Plus, they, she just said Vietnamese don't like look at what's inside they just eat it down mm -hmm. and so yeah after looking at it maybe they, mm -hmm. it's not as good so for the shell let me now we believe that when you have a bad look just eat one or three of this in odd number after finish it you crack it mm -hmm. so all of your back look is blew away oh. awesome mm -hmm. well done yeah well, that's very good well done give her a clap Thank you for helping me push my boundaries because if you hadn't brought that out I would never have tried one but because I've talked to you so much tonight I trust you if you say it's, it's not bad mm -hmm. I felt like yeah I do actually want to try it uh-huh yeah. <laughs> yeah what a lovely tour huh? yeah it's a great tour and what wonderful girls we're so oh, lucky yeah. actually it's really famous for the yogurt different kind of topping okay so uh, this really in Vietnam is not a big thing so uh, we, we we prefer a lot of Vietnamese prefer Western dessert better than like Vietnamese dessert. Mm -hmm. Like wow, you have like panna cotta yogurt, like a pudding custard, like brownie kind of cake like that. Yeah. Cheesecake. We, yeah, cheesecake, yeah. wonderful thing, right? But mm -hmm. in Vietnam, we only have like sweet soup, uh, fruits for our yeah, dessert. Yeah, you don't have many sweets, do you? True. Traditionally, yeah. 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 We have two cooked up plant yogurts. And we have different kind of topping here. Okay. So here we have two kind of fried fruit. So this one is the dried banana. Oh, dried yeah. banana. This one, dried coconuts. Coconut. Yeah. Coconut. yeah. We also have some pudding matcha here. Matcha pudding, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, also, the aloe vera. Oh, it's okay. really good for your skin. Mm -hmm. um, this one. This one is jelly, but this one is coffee jelly. But uh, they already add some sugar inside, so the flavor of the coffee is not really strong. Mm -hmm. So here we also have the the boba 
the black boba with a little bit of uh, Chinese uh, brown sugar. Okay, like in bubble tea. Yeah, right. right. Yeah. And here we have the coconut jelly. Coconut yeah. jelly is yum. This one is also the white boba, which is made from the tapioca flour. And we add a little bit of coconut milk inside. Okay, so tapioca flour. flour. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And the really strange topping here, we have the black sticky rice. Oh. A lot of people, they really like curious why we combine this black sticky rice into the plain yogurt. But it's really well when you mix together. Yeah. So now you have your spoon and like the, the spoon for the every kind of topping. So you can scoop it into your yogurt, frozen yogurt. Okay, okay great. Let's scoop. Let's well, do let that. me help. Let me help. Okay. So I guess I'll try just basically a little bit of everything. Yeah. Yeah. Some banana. Banana. Love banana. Coconut. Yeah, coconut. Love coconut. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll try some of that. Um, sticky rice. Yeah. Love sticky rice. Um, coffee jelly? Coffee jelly? I'm not sure coffee jelly. I might try some. I think it's what's like in the bottom of my coconut coffee that I get. Yeah. Mm. Aloe vera? Yeah. Coconut? This one? No, tapioca. Yeah. So they, so they soak it in like the coconut milk. So they have a little bit like creamy flavor. I'm not very good at pouring this. <laughs> okay, I need wow. the banana. So the balls are yogurt, mm. frozen yogurt. Frozen. Yeah. So the concept of this dessert is you mix with a lot of like sweetness. Mm -hmm. That's why the plain yogurt is not too too sweet mm. because the toppings are all true. Yeah. yeah, the topping is already like has sugar in it. Mm. I love sticky rice. Mm. It's really nice with the yogurt. Yeah. That's quite delicious. Mm. What do you think? It's really delicious and I like it because it's not overly sweet mm -hmm. and I can add as many as much sweetness as I want. So because I don't like overly sweet desserts, it's perfect. Well, what a fabulous evening. Thanks to Back of the Bike Tours. Unfortunately, it was a bit too dark to film our goodbye. So we'll end this here. Cheers for now. Thanks for watching. Where? girls on the loose.